Hey gang, welcome back to Old Paws Diecast Wrecks and Restorations. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button. I would sure appreciate it. Well, today we got a little fun one. It's a 1979 DC comic Corgi Wonder Woman car. Pretty beat up. Sticker all faded. Chip. Definitely play worn. To save time, I already pre drilled it and tapped it. Replaced it with a 256 button head screw. And she just pops apart. Pretty good condition. Body isn't torn up. Just the paint, and decals, or stickers. This was a sticker. I wanted to reuse the wheels, so I used my jeweler's burr to thin down and cut back. Back one was a little tougher because you really couldn't get to it as well. Wanted to make sure I ground down just enough that I could get a little bit of a burr when I snap them back on. These jeweler's burrs really work well for these die cast cars and there we go into our favorite stripper get the lid on it let her set I like to let them sit between 4 and 24 hours. Sometimes I get another project going. But generally there ain't much. This one was in for 4 hours. Take the jeweler's pick. Clean out any of the residual paint and garbage left on it. I lost the footage of me putting it on the uh, wire wheel. Really shined it up though. Time for some primer after a quick dip in the mineral spirit. base turned out marvelous. Put it aside to dry. Now we do the main body section. Set that aside to dry. Now let's get some paint on it. As I was saying, this base was really in mint condition. And the paint just brought all the details of the lettering out.
Move your fingers up, dummy, so you can see the whole thing for everybody. There you go. The wheel's in really good condition, kind of dirty at first, but I cleaned them all out. The only thing was really wrong with them, it was missing the chrome. Now we're going to touch up Linda Carter. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean Wonder Woman. When I think of Wonder Woman, I grew up in the age where it, it was Linda Carter, and that's how I'll always picture her. Well, let's get her into the beauty salon here. Somebody really played with this. There it all is together in a pile, ready for reassembly. Get the wheels on first. Snap them back in there, under that little burr, locked right in. Little drop of CA glue. I tell you what, this is probably the best thing I've learned from watching these and others die cast restoration is the little bottle with the putting your baking soda in it it's a lot less of a mess hey that rhymed anyway it's just not as messy get the back one in another drop of CA glue Puts it pretty much right on the spot you want it. After it sets up, you blow it off and you're done. Time for the decal. I brush the whole front area with micro set. Or micro saw, I don't know the difference between the two. So, what's taken me so long is the sticker was stuck, or the decal was stuck to my finger. Got to get that paint out from underneath my fingernail. Here's a little look back at what she looked like. All chipped up and play worn. Faded sticker, and here's what she looked like when I was done. I even added a little detail on the back end with the brake lights and the backup lights. That windshield I made, the other one was so brittle and busted, 
you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. This is Opa saying goodbye.